Hey kids, what do you have to do to get ready for school? Do you have to brush your teeth? Or do your hair? Or put on clean clothes? Well, in today's lesson, we're going to learn about what we need to do to be ready for the day when Jesus comes back. And it comes from a parable. Let's take a look. Jesus told the story of ten bridesmaids waiting for a groom. The story starts with ten ladies heading out to wait for a groom to come get them for a big feast. It was nighttime, so the ladies all brought some lanterns and some oil to keep the lanterns lit. The groom was taking a really long time, so all the ladies got tired and fell asleep. Five of the bridesmaids were wise, and five were foolish. After a while, someone woke them up. They told them the groom was about to show up. Five of the ladies brought extra oil, so they were able to keep their lanterns lit the whole time. The other five didn't bring enough, so they ran out before the groom got there. They asked to borrow some, but there wasn't enough to go around, so they had to leave to go get more. The groom came while they were away and took the five wise ladies to the big feast. When the other five ladies showed up, they tried to get in, but the groom wouldn't let them because they weren't there when he showed up. This story seems kind of silly, but here's what it's really about. The bridesmaids represent us, and the groom represents Jesus. Did you know Jesus is going to come back and take us to heaven someday? Now, it may not happen during your lifetime, but someday he will come down to earth and take all the Christians back to heaven with him. So just like the bridesmaids are waiting for the groom, we're waiting for Jesus. But first, you have to make sure to learn the lesson in this parable. Wise people are ready for the day Jesus comes back. The wise ladies were ready, but the foolish ones weren't. You should be like the wise ones. Memory verse. So, my disciples, always be ready. But how do you make sure you're ready for the day Jesus comes back? By making sure that you've accepted Jesus into your heart. That's the only way to get to heaven. And it's the only way to make sure that you're ready for the day Jesus comes back. If you haven't accepted Jesus in your heart, talk to a parent or teacher today. So kids, the next time you're getting ready for school, think of this lesson. Be ready for the day Jesus comes back by putting your trust into Him.